to Rumble Roses. We are in the uh, home stretch here as far as the default characters goes. I still haven't decided for sure that I'm going to bother with the alternates. I might take a break from this game and come back and do the alternates later. But uh, if you're paying attention as I've gone along and been counting down, we know that all that's left is Makoto, whom I said I was going to do last. So that means today, obviously, we're doing Dispenser. The Hot for Teacher teacher. And one of our game's two Canadians. She wears a ridiculously overtight teacher outfit. A ridiculously overtight teacher outfit with uh, different coloring. Let me adjust my volume here. Uh, sorry. She wears a swimsuit, which is kind of... Wow, that's a really slutty swimsuit for a school teacher. Or anyone, really, I suppose. The little, like, half-shirt thing makes it, like, somehow slower than it was when it would be if she wasn't revealing the flesh there. And then this version of the same. Um, yeah, Swimsuit doesn't look anything like that in the sequel. Interesting. Anyway, now loading Candy Canyon. Miss Spencer's arch nemesis. So, Miss Spencer is wearing wrestling boots, which is nice. I guess she went out and bought those for the occasion. But she's also wearing uh, stockings, which, um, don't really go so well with the whole wrestling thing. Begging the question, is she dressed for as a teacher, or is she dressed for wrestling? Because those are not boots you would wear to school. Or really anywhere that it wasn't wrestling, or, you know, some kind of, like, cat house, I guess, is the term I was trying to think of. Alright, so you're jumping up and down, you've got a sexy, sexy ascot. Let's, uh, let's get on with your story. I hope turning the volume down so my ears don't get blown out doesn't screw with the audio on the video itself. I'll find out shortly. Do 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 do. Boo do 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 do. Okay, Miss Spencer, come on. Let's get on with it. You're from Canada. What do you want to eat? All right. What's your favorite food? One must not be fussy. Go on. Though I am quite the one for chocolate, I always indulge far more than I should. Yeah, you're a real tub. Where it's your favorite color? Blue, I suppose. Because it's pure and elegant. And uh black because I use it to cover my crotch. What are your measurements? I cannot recall. Alright. So we supposed to have been staring daggers at her until she answered. I, I don't get it. Are you quite satisfied now? Yep. What do you think about Sarah? I like someone who is courteous studies hard, and is always prepared. We are talking about students, right? Oh, dude, we're talking about who you're gonna... Well, who would you like to meet with right now? Where could that girl have gone off to? Dude, I mean, she has a home that isn't school. Where were you born? Canada. It has such wonderful natural surroundings. The entire country. I was born in all of Canada. School, of course. I am a teacher, after all. What are you doing a typical day? Yes. On days off, hmm, let me think. Yeah, think I real hard. And sometimes even write poetry. Poetry about school. Okay, so that's Miss Spencer. She has a butt. Let's get on with the story. Now, looting anesthesia. So, you think, folks, that Miss Spencer will at some point end up fighting Lady X? I'm just curious. What do you think? Write it in and tell me before this Let's Play is over. And considering that I'm posting all four of these videos at the same time, I don't see how you're going to do that, but try. You'd think that they would go for the whole, like, glasses thing with her. I guess the idea is that she wouldn't wear them in the ring, but why not? The game's not that realistic. Oh, she does have glasses. There you go. No one talks like that. I have come to find Miss Welsh. And she kill her. Precious students. Miss Welsh might be a little naughty sometimes, but, deep but that just makes for harder fan service. Lies a kind girl. Dropping I'm gonna have to wipe away her exterior. Characteristic of her. Really? So she must have a good reason. Maybe Why she just hates school. Why mine would dare enter such a dangerous tournament is beyond me. But I'm gonna keep I the shit out of her till I find out. She has missed far too many days of school. Post haste, carpe diem, and other things that teachers are meant to say. 
Excuse me. She's like the rock and roll teacher. I don't actually remember how Hot for Teacher goes. Is this like trying to sound like Hot for Teacher or I don't know? Yes, through my extensive studies, postgraduate work, and the like, I have learned how to walk in slow motion for extra sexiness. There was a wrestler in, I think, WCW, whose name was Miss Hancock, which is a deeply clever name. Okay, can you find any way to show us any more of your butt as you get in the ring? I don't know, I will have to study the matter carefully. Why does she have a heart thing on her pen? Is she a teacher, or is she like a 12-year-old? Let me set down my sexy, sexy clipboard in sexy, sexy fashion. Yeah, okay, so I'm, for whatever reason I'm not coming with anything funny to say about Miss Spencer, but I guess I can tell you this while I'm thinking of it. Uh, there is a always, always raging debate on the Rumble Roses uh, GameFAQs board, which, you know, as you can imagine, it's not the most active uh, board on all of GameFAQs, but it's still, there's always people around. Hello, I'm going to have to beat the crap out of you. Please don't take this as a sign of uh, Canada's intent to uh, have bad relations with Japan. No, but uh, on the... They're always talking about, you know, what girls look hotter in which game, uh, which which girls were ruined in Rumble Roses Double X, and Miss Spencer, pretty much always at the top of the list. In Rumble Roses Double X, she just kind of looks hungover. <laughs> which is, you know, not a fetish that I have in particular. You know, I don't get especially hot for hungover chicks, but... A needless flipping attack! Oh no, I've been thrown around by a random person. Well, I guess for once we have a uh, story mode where obviously Reiko is not going to matter because we're beating her up as the first opponent. Perhaps she will be instructed to go back to school in Japan where they have school eight days a week for 30 hours. Here, take a look at my crotch! So she's doing a devastating submission move that involves, you know, starting off by making you look at her... And, whoa, that's... kind of weird. Yes, so, anyway, folks, my story is I'm a teacher, and one candy cane's my student, and she's disappeared. But somehow I know she went to Rumble Rose, even though she disappeared, and, um, I'm going to get her back. And, um, hopefully be home in time to teach tomorrow. Now oh, the hell, I'll just show the kids a video. I've been spending so much time training and getting ready for wrestling, I've run out of movie adaptations of A Tale of Two Cities to show the students. Stop fighting back, Rako. You're the first opponent. I mean, stop fighting back, Rako. You're the first opponent. Okay, I just completely blew that. Whatever the heck I was trying to do. Oh, yes, it's the look at my crotch attack. I guess it's more like a look at my ass attack, but either way. <laughs> Shriek like a moron, Rico. It's your only chance. <laughs> I just... <laughs> yeah, you know, I have that coming. I just kind of flipped her like a maniac. So she's like hot female Canadian school teacher Taz with that trap suplex there. See what other kind of goofy ass submission. Oh, I, I. How in the world could I have done that move again? I was trying to think what move haven't I done, so I do the move that I've done three times now that takes 800 years. Obviously, at this point, I could win, but I just want to see all the moves. Or, you know, as many of them as I can. Figure out which ones will be useful and which ones won't. That won't be that useful. Do that Taz trap suplex thing. Oh, that's not it. That is it. Okay. Not for nothing. You wouldn't last a minute, Red Hook. Electrain 
It's cool. Sorry. I used to say that when uh, the Godfather came out with the hoe train, which was um, freaking stupid. <laughs> Yes, I do like trains, cool. Taz used to call Michael Cole girl pants. Which, you know, you could call Reiko girl pants because uh, she's wearing girl pants. Alright, girl pants. Don't have your arms get ripped off, girl pants. Girl bra. Ah, get up! Another lesson. I'm gonna teach you a lesson in getting your ass kicked. I'm gonna teach you a lesson in not losing, even though you're the first opponent you're supposed to lose. Alright, I don't want to waste the whole video on Reiko, but I do want to see all three finishers and figure out which one is going to be my go-to move here. Let's just stomp her. Stomp, stomp, stomp. I heard tell that you were a little old samurai from some rather ignorant and uncouth Texans. Or perhaps a Georgian. You know Stalin was from Georgia? Wow, super arm breaker. Nice. Maybe I can use the finisher to get some of the other moves. Free hole suplex. Is that what I heard? Detention time? So this is like, you get detention with Miss Spencer, she drops you on your head repeatedly? Let her up, come on. Alright, now she's simulated, good. I can do the H move, and I can do whatever her non-lethal move is, and we call it a day here for Reiko. Detention time. Once again, it's time for detention, which means you getting dropped on your head. That's how we do detentions in Canada. Whoa! Okay, Miss Spencer, can you be a little bit more overtly fan service here? Alright, now this is sexy if you're into this kind of thing, but it's also the most ridiculous submission hold I've ever seen in my life. Alright, folks, well, we just killed, um, I just killed uh, 13 minutes of your time with, uh, you know, J pop hot for teacher fetish hotness, so, uh,. I'm proud of myself that I accomplished that. Uh, when we come back, folks, we will uh, get on with the actual story now that we've seen all of our moves. And her, her finishes are actually pretty pretty effective. She's one of the better characters. Um, I've already won with the most miserable character in the game, Aisha. So uh, I should be able to make up for lost time in the next couple of videos. We'll get it done in four. So when we come back, folks, we'll uh, tell Reiko to get back to uh, cram school. And uh, we'll probably have Anastasia chuckle at us evilly. And we will definitely have more Let's Play excitement. So see you then. Thanks for watching.